Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Snatch Chat, where I'm here to help you lose fat, but not your mind. I'm Tiffany, certified personal trainer, nutrition specialist, and your body snatcher. And today, we are talking about one of the most popular, popular reasons that people cite that they are not getting results from their fitness journey, and that is motivation. Okay, so... Uh, other than time and being too busy, motivation for sure is the number one thing people say that they lack. And I'm here to tell you that my title is not, you know, clickbait. I'm dead serious when I say that motivation ain't coming, okay? At least not in the way that we think about it. So it's, you know, very common. I hear people say all the time, that they are not motivated and there's something that's not just driving them to actually work out. And I'm here to tell you that motivation is mostly a illusion and a fantasy. So this whole like being inspired and all of that, you know, kind of definition of it, it does not really exist okay the truth of the matter is is that most people get results because they are just doing what needs to be done and the other truth is that most people are never ever going to love fitness okay so those few people that you know that have you know gone on this fitness journey and all of a sudden they're like you know got pages on Instagram or something or they're always in the gym every day and they just love it you have to look at it as like a hobby because everyone is not going to love it and we all have our own things that we love so that definition you need to throw out the window okay you're not going to start doing things just by you know wanting to do it so that is the main thing we'll be talking about today more specifically the things that will push you okay and how most people you know get results how most people really get motivated two out of the three things will be things that you know you don't really inspire in yourself per se it's just kind of like you know results of something else and then the third a uh, factor I will go into will be a little bit more about things that you can kind of cite as your, you know, motivation, I will say in quotation marks, okay? <laughs> so, um, other than that, I usually start by saying make sure you get your workouts. I always leave a free, you know, downloadable link that will send you some fat, high fat burn workouts. Uh, I do the whole thing with you. Uh, and then I also sprinkle in some nutrition and some mindset tips in between. So definitely, definitely make sure you get those. Um, also subscribe to the channel, uh, press like, do all those things because it really does help, you know, uh, it helps me out a little bit. So definitely do those. Okay. So um, now that all that's out the way, we can go ahead and get into the topic, okay? So, uh, this is the main thing. So, this is number one, and this is the number one thing that drives motivation. And the one thing, and because this is the number one thing, it's also the reason people don't get results. And that is that most people, okay, they are motivated by actual results, okay? So, you know, looking at yourself in progress photos, seeing a change, having people come up to you saying it looks like you lost weight, you know, being able to fit that dress that you haven't been able to wear in a long time, going, trying on clothes in a smaller size and actually being able to fit them, being able to go to the beach and wear a bathing suit and not feel self-conscious, all these things, okay? are the things that keep people pushing a little further. Of course, the whole problem with that <laughs> is you have to get there to be motivated. So what does that mean? It means that you cannot rely on motivation, okay, to get you where you need to be. There has to be something else. So that is the main number one point I want to make is, and it's my defense 
of why I say that motivation isn't coming because the thing is, is that it's, it's coming, but it won't be coming until you actually notice some dents in your fitness journey. And that is why so many people give up. So they'll be two months in and they're not seeing what they think are, you know, great results or whatever. And then they just kind of give up. Uh, the other side of that is you have to remember that, and I have to say this to clients as well, you spent years, okay years developing habits and doing things that have not lent to your best fitness self so to think that you're going to undo years even decades of that in you know a few months is absolutely absurd and i do understand that you know social media and all these other factors will have you thinking that it's possible to do that um, it is possible, but it's very, very, very rare. And as I always say, as a sustainability coach, you know, a lot of these measures are very drastic. So you're not going to get, you might get the results, but you're not going to be able to sustain them most of the time. Okay. So I just want to really drive that point home that the main, main way that you are motivated uh, is to get results. Okay. So, and when I get to the third point, I'll talk about some things you can, you know, do to get to the point where you're still doing it anyways. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I did think it was worth mentioning number two, uh, which is a whole different side of fitness and that is desperation. Okay. So some of us and many of us actually are pushed into fitness. So when I say desperation, it's usually something that is looming. So a lot of times it will be, you know, going to the doctor and the doctor telling you, if you don't lose weight, you know, you are going to, you know, have less days. You're going to get cardiovascular diseases. You're going to get diabetes, whatever. Uh, hearing the threat of health problems is definitely, definitely a motivator. So um, if, you know, any of those things are pertinent to you and you have been told that, you know, you need to get, get, get it together for your health purposes, uh, you should definitely take heed of that. Of course, I do understand a lot of people aren't ready. So the, the downside of this one is that, you know, a lot of times when people are told they have to do something, there's an automatic need to resist and not to want to do it even more. So this, you know, whole aspect of getting results can be very effective if the person has that aha moment when they're told this thing. However, many people won't be having an aha moment. They will be having a, a what, what can I say, a ah nah moment. <laughs> And they're going to do whatever they want to do anyways. Okay. So that is the second side of getting results. Okay. So like I said, the first two, the two that I just went over are very, very dependent on other people or circumstance, right? They're not things that you are actively doing on your own part. Now the results, of course, you're getting them on your own merit, but as I said, you have to, you know, do things to get to that point. So that leads me to the third thing. And so if you're wondering, well, if I, you know, have, can't get my results right away and, you know, I don't have any cardiovascular disease and don't have any like, you know, immediate health threats to push me, what can I do to get me on track? Okay, so this is something I would like to introduce the this thing that I call motivation movers. Okay, so these are things that you have to do as self internal work and to really figure out what is going on with you. Okay, so I have seven. I'm not going to go through all of them, of course, because that's just a lot, but I can give you examples. So these are all things that you kind of pull from yourself and really doing some self-reflection. Okay. So things that 
put things into place and some things do actually involve other people. So one example would be, you know, having a motivation partner or a, you know, accountability partner. You've probably heard of those. So a lot of times, you know, having someone in your corner that can kind of push you uh, is one way to help you because you're not going to want to do it on your own. So having someone say, look, we're supposed to work out today or, you know, have you done the, you know, three workouts of the week that you're supposed to do. Having that little pressure can be an example of a motivation mover right? Something that moves you into motivation, even if it's not just going to come and, you know, drop down from the heavens above, you know, that kind of thing. So that would be one example, even like a coach, of course, anybody who can just give you that little nudge, right? Um, Another example would be, you know, actively scheduling. So you, it's just the truth that when you schedule things, you are more likely to get them done. Okay, so a lot of people just play life by whims and they just go with the flow and all of that. And you will find that most really successful people, be it in business, fitness or whatever, usually keep schedules and are very good with their time. Okay, and that also kind of jumps into the whole not having time for things. You really do have to remember we all have the same amount of hours and a lot of people say they don't have time, but... The truth is there's someone super, super busy and way busier than you that is getting their fitness done. And I know people don't want to hear that, but I also mentioned in another video, you know, the average person spends like two and a half to three hours a day on social media. So, you know, and then there's other things and, you know, with the whole quarantine and everything, that is what is going on uh, as I am filming this, you know, people have had more time and what has happened over the last few months, uh, noticeably when I talk to clients and other people is that they have been shown that time is not the issue (laughs) because they have all the time in the world and they still aren't getting their workouts done and stuff. So, um, so definitely be aware that scheduling uh, is one of those things that could be a motivation mover because if you see that on your calendar you have working out three or four times on your calendar, the fact that it's actually an accountability thing again and you're actually seeing it is already kind of putting it out to the universe that you've committed to it, right? Um, and then like the last one I will say is like listing benefits. You know, just saying exactly what you're going to get out of working out, maybe putting, you know, saying I'm going to look good in a tight dress, whatever motivates you. Uh, you know, I'm going to live longer to be here for my kids. Uh, things like that. They can go very, very far. And those would be the things that I would say are closest to the whole, you know, inspired motivation thing. So it's like looking at things that would happen if you did decide to do what you need to do and what the actual outcome will be. Okay. So, um, so yeah, those are like the motivation movers types of things. And those are the last ones that I will, um, end with as far as like the actual examples. So, um, and I do have a guide. I I actually did the seven, Uh, motivation movers for my clients a a little while back. Um, It was a seven part series and I decided to make it into a separate guide because every time I talk to people, people send me DMs or message me. They're like, I can't stay motivated. How can I stay motivated? So I did make it a guide. It's very, you know, affordable or whatever. So if you are interested, it's very, it's a lot of like soul searching, a lot of writing, a lot of like going in depth, uh, you know, figuring out what is going on with you so that you can figure out which, you know, movers are going to push you. So I include seven of them. Okay. So anyways, I'll put that in the description if you're interested, but Those are the main things I wanted to say about motivation today. I just mainly wanted to make the point that you cannot rely on it to get started and you cannot rely on it to keep going. Okay. You have to just do things you have to. And I'm just going to add this. I've said this in other videos. Um, like I was saying with the hobby thing and some people just loving fitness, 
If fitness is not something that you're ever going to absolutely love, you have to treat it as a job, okay? So you're gonna have to just look at it as something that you have to get done and just do it. And I know that sounds, you know, really annoying to some people because it's just like, okay, well, it's easy to say just do it. But, you know, most people, sorry, most people don't like their job, right? And they still show up for it and they still get it done even if they don't do it like to absolute wonderful capacity they still get their job done and for some people and you have to kind of do some self-reflection and realize if you're one of these people it's always going to be that you're just going to have to do it and force yourself to do it and just be you know want the result of a nice body or health or whatever just like for a job you would be doing it for the money Okay, so you just have to look at it as a trade-off, okay? So, um, so yeah, so that's it. Three motivators for people. The first two, kind of out of your control at first, and that is getting results and seeing them, and then that, that kind of forms a cycle of wanting to do more. And then the desperation thing, which is just for health and staying alive and having no choice. Um, but often, like I said, that just turns into, you know, resistance on the part of the person. So the third and most important thing are your motivation movers. What are those things in your life that you can do that will, you know, get you to your promised land? Okay, so um, that's all the points of the day. Um, the actionable step for the day is to just do some self-reflection. Um, think about some of the things I said and what of the three, even the three motivation movers that I gave you, you know, accountability partner, um, the scheduling and your benefits, you know, what, what would be something that you think would most likely be, you know, helpful for you. So you can maybe even write it down and put it somewhere where you can see it. That's always a good idea as well. Okay. And then last, I will just say, I do have the guide as well. It's a really good guide. I'm not even going to lie. It's like 20 something pages and it really just goes into depth about, you know, motivation, psychology, all of that stuff. So if you're interested in that, it's in the description. Also, again, make sure you get your workouts, uh, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And that is it for the day. Other than that, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Eat well, drink well, lots of water. Take care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit. And I will see you next time.